Yo, what's going on YouTube? It is OG and today we are back. So I had the privilege of playing in the No Tilt Finals, No Tilt GG Finals yesterday uh, with my team SCMN Esports, myself, Bobby, and Zara played all the matches against IX. So it's a pretty good sized tournament. I think the prize pool is around 10k, first place gets 1k. Um, so a good amount on the line and it's a little different from the other tournaments because it's draft and honestly I really like the draft format. I hope next year like the Brawl Stars Championship goes with draft because it feels so much better. You don't have to worry about getting like counter comps if you draft bad then it's on you but you can see what you're playing against and kind of like it adds like another dimension of skill to the game. But anyways we're gonna get into the game. It's a best of five, best of three and let's get into it. Alright guys so game number one. Uh, so I think we early picked Crow. I think we first picked Crow. And then they went Piper Nani, and then we went Brock Bell, and they last picked Byron. So our strat was to break open the mid and just kind of let the crow play through there. Because if he's on the lane, he's just going to get like destroyed. Everyone outranges him by a good amount. So we're just kind of feeling it out, trying to get in the bush. I'm getting my trap set up. So when they do get position, we can take it back. That's why I put one so defensive on the top left. And you can see I'm hitting some shots here, trying to get some, uh, trying to take out one of them so we can get some shots on the safe. Bobby is going to go down, unfortunately, and Chepo takes me out as well. So I almost trade back with him, but unfortunately I didn't have enough time. Uh, but you can see they're going to get some good damage there as well. Crying is going to hit my trap, but because me and Zara aren't alive, we don't have enough damage to kill him. Chepo doing a really good job there, just keeping him alive too. Without those heals, he does go down. So I will get a good mark on Chepo, and um, unfortunately Zara did get taken out there. So we're going to focus Chepo, and I'll two-tap him and take him out. Uh, but now we got to watch out for the Nani head, so it should go like pretty aggro here. But that's going to enable me and Zara to kind of like push up a little bit. Bobby's got to deal with defense. Crying just chooses to back off a little, so they don't lose control. Control is like very important on this map. Unfortunately, uh, my teammates do get taken out on the other side, so it's just up to me to kind of like hold the right side down, so we don't lose like complete control, you know. So I'm hitting a good amount of shots. Second is going to hit my trap. And I'll take him out. I'll just super him so he's marked. And I'll take Chepo out as well. And I think I get a few shots on safe. Maybe just one because, again, controls everything. So we want the Brock chipping because it does a lot more damage with the fire than just a bell shot. Um, so we are trying to play around Zara's side. And what like I mean by that is me like winning my lane and then like pinching the people on his lane. Or something like that. Uh, so Crying Man does TP there and take out Zar. And Bobby gets a slow off, but Bobby kind of this game he held on to his slows for way too long. Chepo's gonna trade back there, and we got to do a lot of percent here. Uh, so I do manage to take out second, and we do have our supers and stuff, so we get a good amount of damage there with the Brock super by itself. We got to take out one of them and just push up really hard through that side, and we really need to get Brock on safe like right now. So you can see Bobby still has another slow, he'll use it right then, and Brock's getting some good shots on the safe. And it's just not enough. They are going to go forward and pretty much finish our safe. But it was a close game back and forth. But we definitely could have played that one better. Alright guys, game number two. So again, it's draft. Um, there is this weird rule in the tournament where you can change your comp twice per like the entire uh, match. So none of us, we chose to keep the same comp. You'll see later on uh, that we do change comps. And this time we're off to a really good start. So Bobby's going to do an early slow. We get around 10% on the save, which every percent matters here. We're doing a really good job just pinching. So I'll take out second, and I just want to hold this mid grass. So I'm laying out my traps. So if they do hit us, uh, you know, we'll be able to two tap them or three tap them. Unfortunately, I do get hit there by second, and I'll get taken out. So that was a really good shot by second to kind of take me out. But they're using a lot of their gadgets early. Uh, so. That's something that we don't have to worry about too, too much later on. And Krang is going to hit my trap. So unfortunately, we weren't there to take him out. But it does kind of stop him from just pushing up and get position. So it still like does its purpose. So uh, we just want to hold this mid position again. I'm going to get a trap out. I'll take out Crying Man. And I'll look to take out second as well. Uh, he is going to get some good shots on me. But we do manage to take him out. I get him one shot. Bobby's there to finish him off. Chepo's hitting some good shots. Drops a super to stay alive. Krang's going to TP here. And... He does miss his shots, uh, but he gets a bit of damage on safe, so they'll catch right up. And me and Zara are going to hit the safe here and do a good amount of damage. So definitely a really big play for us there. Um, and now we just kind of have to hold and just not like lose. 
until Zara comes back. But I will get curved. I did manage to get some damage on second. Bobby's going to jump in and take him out. Chepo's going to be one shot, so Zara is going to be able to take him out. Crying goes over there. He's going to hit my trap. But Zara just needs to get on safe and get that super out. So he knows that. Best Brock in the world, guys. Uh, <laughs> so he's going to get a good super off on safe. And we're going to be up a lot this game. So it's going a lot better than last time. And we're in a really good position because we do have mid control. We got our trap set up. Bobby's going to slow Chepo. I think we take him out here. No, I was going to take him out, but I was focused on Nani too. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, I did get tapped a few times. So I think the Nani TPs and... I'm calling Bobby back to just help pinch me with him, and we can just take him out like that. Bobby's going to jump in on Chepo too, get him pretty low, and at this point, they just have to go for it, but we out damage them, and their safe's a lot lower, so I'm yelling to Zara, like, just base race if they want to do that, and we just go, we finish it, and we're going to take game two pretty convincingly. Alright guys, game number three, so whoever wins this one does take the first set. Always want to win every set, especially the first one, and the last one, obviously. But uh, nobody's changing comps, so Bobby is just going to get lit up. <laughs> so good shots from Chepo and Crying there to take him out. And I'm just trying to stay alive so we have some position, but uh, they are going to take me out as well. And luckily for us, they didn't really get too, too much position off of that. So second was pretty low, so he couldn't push up on the left side because Zara had good position there. And I think it's just kind of like a stalemate at this point, so... I'm going to start setting up my traps just so when they do push up, you know, they'll be slowed at least. And I think I look to take out Chepo here. So Chepo's going to be pretty low. I think I get him. Yeah, he overextends there by a lot. He got a little greedy and I will take him out. Um, and we're going to get a ton of damage right away. So it's already under 60% when the fire is gone. And the Nani is just going to... That was a really good Nani super. It finds the gap, gets on safe for a shot. Uh, he should have hit in the corner, but it was a, it was a good dodging from crying there. Uh, and I think Chepo might hit my trap there. I'm not sure. I, one of them does, yeah. So Chepo's going to hit my trap, and me and Zara are just going to tap him immediately. So that's what I was talking about. You didn't get to see it too much before, but with Bell and Brock, or like any like long range that does a lot of damage, you can just punish them as soon as they hit the Bell traps. So it's a really good gadget. Um, especially on a map like this. So I think I get Chepo pretty low and I'll manage to take him out there as well. Got a good mark off and Krang is going to TP behind us. Bobby's going to be able to take him out and we are just dominating this game. The beginning was a little rough, but we've gotten so many good pushes off and just with Brock when he gets on safe, it is a ton of damage. Zara is going to be able to three tap Chepo there and me and Zara are just trying to get on safe and get damage. So I'll take out second. They kind of have to body block, but doesn't go too well with Bell because uh, it just bounces back and forth. So I'm going to mark Chepo before I die. He did get his super, but Bobby's going to be able to take him out. And yeah, he'll get his super back, but it's looking really good for us at this point. Bobby's going to get a good slow off. And now we just have to like not throw pretty much and get like Zara on safe or me on safe one more time. Uh, so there's only 15 seconds left. So we can actually just kind of stall out. Uh, but they can do a lot of damage, so we got to be careful here. So I see second going under, and we just really have to body block and just not throw. But we managed to hold on, and we'll take set number one. All right, guys, set number two, shooting star. So they first picked Tick, then we responded with Brock Nani. Uh, Brock is pretty decent for Tick because he can just break his walls just like that. Then they picked Piper and Bell, and we last picked Byron because it's kind of similar. Like, I can, like, do pretty good damage from long range, and it also can heal, too. So if my teammates are in, like, a rough spot, I can just heal them. So I think it's a pretty decent pick, um, and you can see Zara's going to get pretty low here. I think I try healing. It's going to do a really good job, though, and take out um, their bell, but he will hit a trap, unfortunately. Otherwise, he lives there. But it was a good trap from Chepo. So I'm going to get Chepo pretty low there. He'll pop another trap. And um, the traps aren't as useful on this map as they are on Kaboom. Just because you don't really end up going that deep, typically. So Krang is going to miss me with his gadget there. It's pretty big uh, because the gadgets are almost like a guaranteed kill every time on this map. And, you know, we're going to be down by a kill. So we kind of just have to look. I think I get second here. Or Okay, no. So I have to keep Zara alive. 
Fortunately, Chepo will have the shield up, and Bobby's gonna get a really good kill. Um, so we will get the lead actually, but they do have blue star, so that's something we have to be careful about. Second's gonna be one shot, and I think I just hit that last shot on him. Yeah, so I get a really good shot on him and to take him out, and we'll get blue star because of that. So now we just have to play like more passive and just not die. <laughs> kind of, it's kind of the same ending for all the maps, I guess. But um, I'm up pretty high, but I do have my super, so I was gonna get a really good nani head, and I think I take out second here as well. So it's this game's pretty much over at this point for us, and just for good measures, Bobby's gonna kill crying and then Chepo and we'll take game number one pretty convincingly. Alright guys, game number two of set number two. So no changes again. Uh both of us liked our comp or thought there was nothing better at least. So we are just gonna do kind of a different start this time. Zara is just gonna miss his gadget, unfortunately. Uh he would have killed them there. But uh we do manage to get tick. So me and Bobby hit some good shots there on the tick to keep him alive. I'm just going to heal Zara up a little bit. I'm telling Zara to break the wall for me because otherwise tick is very painful for Byron. Um, so I'm also in the mid just because that way my laners, like they should be getting the kills and I can heal them if they get low. Um, and you can see I'm healing Bobby here as well. I try getting over to heal Zara and we just get, or Zara gets second one shot, but he is going to go down. Fortunately, I had the tick head coming at me, so I couldn't really do too much. Bobby is going to gadget that last shot, so uh, it's kind of a good play, kind of a misplay from crying, uh, just because the gadget's kind of obvious there. But uh, we will get the lead because of that, and Bobby is going to get pinched here, I think. Or no, okay. We're going to take out the tick head, and we got to get some position back. So Zara's almost going to go down. I just managed to get some heals off on him. And we're just kind of like trying to get back mid because you don't want to get backed up against a tick, especially on a map like this. Uh, that's why we just tried opening the map up so much. And nice shot from Bobby there to take out Crying Man. Zara is just going to kind of run at the tick. I'm going to heal him. Unfortunately, I did miss one of my heals. If I heal, like if I don't miss that heal, he actually lives. So it's kind of my fault. But it's kind of hard to hit all your heals sometimes. We do uh, just manage to keep the lead there. Chepo almost goes down. So I kind of, I probably shouldn't have died there, but I just got caught out trying to heal and like out of position. So it happens. Um, but as long as we don't get too backed up. So I see Zara in the corner here. This is why we picked Byron last instead of like B or something. Just for that healing, it's really good. And uh, we can look at Chepo here. So they do get the lead for a brief second, but I'll take out Chepo and we're going to get set number two. Alright guys, next up is Triple Dribble. So we first picked Bell uh, to kind of respond to it. They last picked B. They uh, first picked Barley and then they picked Sandy. Um, so I think our draft is pretty decent here because we have the Tick for the Barley, the Bell for the B. And um, I do get taken out here, but I'll trade with Chepo at least. And Jean's actually kind of decent into Sandy as well. It's also good for pulling and getting goals here. Uh, just because it has the knockback too, right? So it's also going to give Zara heals or me heals, so we can just keep kind of like spamming our lanes. So you can see good pull from Bobby there as well. Second is going to be low, he's going to tap me as well. Second's going to be one. I think I take him out or get him low. Yeah, so I'll take second out there. Crying does have a, his gadget on, so we got to be careful of that. I'm just going to get some traps up and then just kind of back off a little bit. So we can see Crying does have his gadget on this whole time. Bobby's getting really aggro here, and it's going to be kind of a misplay. Uh, it allows them to just pinch him really easily. And, you know, I just kind of have to hold on a little bit. I know Crying's around here, so I do manage to get a good shot on him. Second's going to hit my trap, but he'll gadget my shot, so that manages to keep him alive. I think I go for a mark on Sandy, because I see it cross map. Or maybe Chepo. Maybe, maybe nobody. <laughs> um, so they're going to have to pinch Chepo here. He's getting pretty aggro. Ticket is going to take him out, and this is a really good chance to score, actually. It's just like Sandy kind of up, and Gene can gadget, right? So he's going to do, that's what I was talking about. It's good for scoring goals with the knockback, and um, we are going to get a one nothing lead here. So we're just switching, so I stay on B, and you know, you want Bell on the open side, obviously. Um, unfortunately, I won't be able to win while the Barley gadget is up. It's just unfair advantage, you know, he just keeps healing. Um... So I'm just going to try taking out second, but he's going to get a good shot on me, get his 3k. So I have to back off a little bit. We're going to Barley Gadget again. We just want to get the ball in the corner at this point. I 
think uh, I try. Okay, so my trap is gonna come clutch there, and I'll mark Chepo. And I'm gonna go down, but um, we just managed to hang on a little bit, so it was good. And Bobby's gonna fall crying. So at this point, we just kind of have to make sure they don't get in the corner. I go to try taking out Chepo. Um, I'll get a shot off on second, but Zara just really needs to do that. Just spam the corner. Chepo can't get it. He's marked. He's gonna just get evaporated, and we will take the first game. All right, guys. So this was the rule that I was talking about. Uh, they made a change, so they actually brought in a Frank instead of what was it? Their B, and it's a really good change because. Frank is very tanky, even though I'm Bell, and like, <coughs> excuse me, I'll hit like all my shots on it. It doesn't really matter because it's gonna get super uh, every time I hit it, and I can mark it, but it doesn't really matter again because they'll just keep getting super. But they do overextend a lot there, so I'm telling Bobby, like, I think he can just walk up and score here. Like, they're just leaving the ball there. He's gonna get a nice little bank shot, and we'll take the one nothing lead. So, pretty big misplay from them, but. It's not looking too good. Honestly, this should be a goal every time for them. I feel like Zara's going to misplay his head as well. Second is just going to be in there with uh, his super. And, you know, it's just a lot when all three of them have super. Because their supers are a lot more impactful than ours. Barley can zone. Sandy, they're all invisible. Frank, you know, just breaks every wall and, like, stuns. So, it's kind of it's something that we have to watch out for. So, I'll get a mark off on second there as well. So I can just take him out pretty easily once he is marked. Maybe I should have left him up, but I think we could almost score there. So we were going for something. I do manage to mark Crying as well. And I take out Chepo. So hitting a lot of shots right now. Uh, second is just going to kind of like push his way up. They do have the healing Sandy star power. So he can just do this. Um, and Bobby's going to get a good pull. We'll take him out. Crying's still marked. So he should go down fairly fast. Um, and if we can make it to overtime, we should be good, just given that we have a bell in overtime. And as long as they don't miss, like, every single shot, it should be okay. Chepo is going to get a good, um, gadget off there. And I didn't want to mark him because the Sandy had a mark on it still, but he just got, like, way too far up to the point where, like, I had to mark him. And Bobby's going to get a nice knockback there on the Sandy to stop them from scoring. <sighs> But they will get a Sandy Super, and we gotta put the ball in the corner and just kind of like pray we can get them out before overtime comes in. Barley's just gonna spam me out, and it's looking really doomed here when you see the Frank coming down uh, with Super. So it's kind of yeah, it's kind of doomed at that point, and they will score. So the Frank was a really good pick from them. So this game we also used our change, um, and we brought in M's because it's good into Sandy and Frank. So we tried changing and just getting our matchups right, but uh, unfortunately second is just going to gadget the M's and he'll get a super right away and they'll just score. So uh, it's kind of a misplay. Uh, that's my first time watching it back because the gadget from M's is kind of predictable there. Uh, so I think that's a little bit of a misplay from Zara just getting that close, but um, that's okay. And they're going to be off to a really good lead and... Second is going to be able to take Zara out again. So he's getting some good supers off there. And you can just see how powerful Frank can be. <clears throat> and yeah, we just kind of have to hold on at this point. And second is going to gadget Bobby's pull there as well. So I think we do... Okay, second Zara gets put to sleep. And at this point, Bobby gets a really good knockback. But uh, it's kind of just doomed. So the M's, I think it could have been played better. Uh... But we kind of get ran over that game. <laughs> Alright, next up is Double Swoosh. So, they first picked Bell, which kind of surprised us. Uh, because typically you want to first pick Jean here. And I'll be on Crow, and we have a Sandy as well. So, I'm using the extra damage star power, and I think it's really good. Like, I think it's very underrated. But you can see, like, okay, so when he slows, I'll just insta-slow back so I don't get run down. And he can't really play the game right now. So I'm going to jump on him and take him out. Also poison second just so we can kind of track where they are. And I just won my lane very hard. So I'm going to rotate over and just keep like applying as much pressure to him as possible. Uh, so the poison is really good for grass. Actually way back in beta Crow was meta on Snake Prayer just because of the poison. So you could always track where they were. It was like Crow Shelly. <laughs> and you can see the extra damage star power coming in clutch there. I get both of them actually. So... From my super because i have that star power it did manage to take out second as well 
Uh, so that's just going to give us complete control over the map. And Zara is going to pick up his uh, super there as well. So I think that's the last slow from Chepo too. And I still have one. Um, and they're going to switch sides because the Rosa could not... I don't think the Rosa hit me this game. Um, so Amber at least has some range. But Crow still does pretty good into Amber here. So I'm going to slow both of them there. And, you know, we'll get them both pretty low. And I shouldn't have picked up a gem just so I can jump in. But it's okay, so I did manage to... We're only one gem off. Bobby is going to miss his pull, and that's a little unlucky. But I think Zar and him should be able to take him out. And they have to play really aggressive because obviously the fixed gem spawns now. So um, we do manage to get one spawning on our side there. And we just got to hold Chepo off pretty much. I'm out of slows at this point, but I do have the extra damage star power. So when he gets low, I just kind of melt him. And you can see right there, just the jump, he like explodes. And we'll take game number one of double swoosh. All right, guys. So game number two of double swoosh. Now we're gonna keep the same Tom sword. They they did have an extra change, but they're gonna change uh, their strategy up. So they're gonna switch lanes right off the bat, and they're gonna pinch Zar pretty hard. Unfortunately, Zar does put Chepo to sleep, but Bobby's shot just kind of wakes him up right away. So this is like a mid little miscommunication from us, I guess. Um, and. They're off to a much better start this time. You can see Chepo's uh, doing a good job. He's getting a lot of damage there. I'll slow second, and we do manage to take him out. So again, you can just see like the extra damage star power. Like Without it, we don't get that kill there. Zara's going to be able to go pick up all the gems. Very slept on star power, guys. Okay. Um, Bobby is going to get taken out, and I think Zara gets caught here as well. So Zara is going to get caught, and... Well, it's going to bounce off me, I guess. So Bobby does get the gems, which... It's fine that's what we want um if they're on me or czar it's not the end of the world but we can't be as aggressive as we'd like to so i am gonna be like just i want to jump on someone here <laughs> but it's kind of i can't do it when it's 2v3 so i'll get taken out they're doing a really good job just kind of like holding uh just our grass like look at the traps set up it's gonna be really hard for us to get anything done so kind of our win condition here is if Zara gets super or if I can get a really good jump off. I'm going to go on Rosa just because I did a pretty good job on it last time. And I think I still have a few slows. So it's really hard though once he does get that like around that corner there. So yeah, I'll slow him for Bobby, but uh, it's kind of... It's kind of like a little scuffed at this point, like just when they get that set up really hard to do anything honestly um so it's all up to me at this point i guess bobby has pull but there's like a slim chance he's gonna hit a trap too so yeah good trap placements from second there i gotta just jump in but you know there's not much we can do so they just played that one super well uh they switched matchups and it went really good for them all right guys game number three of double swoosh so if we win this one we do win first place um and we know they're switching, so they're just kind of like doing the same start as last time. And I think I do... Okay, no, so I won't slow them. Chepo is going to slow. I'm just going to back off here a little bit. And, you know, you just kind of like have to wait for the right time to go in. Um, Amber is a really annoying lane. I think Crow is pretty good into it, but you can see there I do overextend. And I get punished for it. Zara is going to do a good job. And uh, he will get his super. But he does have the damage one on. So it wakes him up right away. So just if you use the sandy slow. I think the healing one's pretty like much the same too. It gets like really good value. Second is going to overstep. Bobby's going to hit a really good pull there. And crying man. I think I managed to get some of the gems over to our side. I didn't want to go for more. Because I don't think I could have got away with it. But um. Bobby is going to be in the grass, and it's pretty even right now, honestly. So Bobby's going to hit a really good pull, though, on second, and I will slow Chepo, and I think I jump in on Crying Man, but Bobby's just going to pull him right away, too. So Bobby's in some really good pulls. Crying Man is stuck in our spawn with the gems, so it's not really anywhere to go. They get countdown, which is kind of funny, but uh, the gems are just right where we want them at that point, and uh, Bobby hits some really clutch pulls, so that's kind of why you want to always pick Jean just because it's really good here you can hide in the grass get some pulls off so they are applying a ton of pressure right now though good thing we have that crow damage star power though I'm gonna jump in front and just body block for Bobby and we'll take home first 
So yeah, guys, that is going to be the finals for No Till uh, GG's to IX. We ended up winning 3-1. to one. Um, Again, I really like the draft format, so hopefully Brawl Stars Championship implement something like that next year. I think it's a lot better than just blind picking, because uh, at least you know what you're up against, and, you know, it's just not rock, paper, scissors, which Brawl Stars is, like, 90% of the time now, which kind of sucks. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all again soon. Peace. <clears throat>